Today, we're going to learn how to create a new campaign in WP Emetico. Keep in mind you have this help tab here, which tells you what each specific field does, and also these blue icons for each field, which will give you more direct information about what each element in each section does. Now let's go over to the All Campaigns option. As you can see, we don't have any campaigns created yet, so we're going to make our first campaign by clicking on Add New. Now you'll see the module to add a new campaign. As you can see, there are several sections, which for the moment, all we're going to do is explain each one. First, enter the title of the campaign you want to create, then enter a description for the campaign. Once that's done, go down to Feeds for this campaign, which is where you will enter the URLs you will use to feed your blog. Click on the Add Feed button and enter the URL of the blog to fetch from. You can confirm that the URLs you enter are valid by clicking on the Check All Feeds button. Click and wait to see if the URL is valid. Great! The URL is ready to be used. As you can see, there are more sections in the campaign panel. There's the Publish section, where you can select how your post will be saved, or their status rather. In other words, if they will be saved and published, left pending, saved as a draft, and so on. Farther down is the Campaign Category section, where you can choose whether you want to obtain the external categories of the posts. If it doesn't have any, you can add your own categories from your blog. Then there's the Campaign Options section, where you can work on the content that will be obtained with more personalization. For example, choosing how many posts will be fetched, if you want to delete HTML tags from the content, content without links, etc. Below that, we have the cron, where you can manage how your blog is fed with scheduled tasks, which will be executed based on the date and time that you set. Next, there's options for images, which allows you to download each image that the posts have and save them to your server, but only if this option isn't selected. Farther down, we have the rewrite options. This is very interesting because it lets you replace specific words in each post so that they're slightly different from the content you are obtaining. Here you also have the relink option, which will let you take the words that you add to the origin field and establish a link, as long as it finds the words added in this option. Once all your options are configured, we can go ahead and publish our campaign. Click on Publish, but first, note that to the left there's this button that says Run Now. That will be activated once you publish the campaign. Click and wait for it to publish. And once it's published, click on the Run Now button to start running the campaign. Wait for a second. And when the campaign is done, you can go over to Posts to make sure the campaign has executed. The default setting is to have five posts per feed, as you can see. So go over to the menu to Posts, All Posts, and as you can see, we have five posts here from the specified feed.